Hello and welcome to this video on the Lands of Acera channel. My name is Lentebricia um, and I will guide you through it, be your host for this video. Um, okay, first off, we're on an island. We have this large coniferous forest on top of it. The island is about 1600 by 1600. We are in a winter setting with floating ice and um, yeah, we are picturing it as it's rain like Greenland, so that's kind of the background for this project. Um, now I will fly to a town that we call Ivitut, which was a Viking settlement on Greenland. Um, it's a smaller settlement there. They had the west and the east settlement, and then there was the middle settlement, Ivitut. And um, yeah, it's it's a smaller settlement of the Vikings. Uh, it's it's a true Viking. Uh, village as in they didn't just kill off some locals and start living in their houses um, no this is an actually built Viking um, village this this means that we like um, for this village it, this is probably one of the projects that we've done most of the research for thus far on lands of Acera um, because um, there's just so much built on Viking style within Minecraft probably due to the popularity of Skyrim uh, which has very much uh, Viking inspiration to it um, so yeah we did a lot of research um, into this style because we wanted to be original somewhat true uh, wanted to put in some of our own creativity and like the kind of classical way of building some Viking buildings is people using uh, Thor and thatch blocks um, build some steep roofed houses and of course this is this is all good because um, Vikings just went go to war if they found a place they liked kill off the locals start living in their houses have fun um, that's kind of the Viking way of um, Viking approach architecture I guess but um, they do have some original architecture to them and we are mov more focused on that because as I said, originality, creativity, uh, we've planned in some of our own stuff to it. Um, so yeah, let's. I, I also want to tell you a bit more about the, the, the Viking civilization, because, well, we looked so much in it, we brainstormed so much, um, I would like to tell you something about it while we are walking through this village. Um, so basically this is somewhat of a fjord, over there is the ocean, the sea, um, we have the tides here, this is a boat area, the dock, um, however you call it, um, to the left of us, of the fjord, um, they have the forest, uh, somewhat of a hill, um, there are still some trees standing, um, because this is how forests would regrow, pine cones would drop, trees would grow and boom we have a forest again so yeah they didn't completely deforest a whole area which is a very practical approach um, then let's go to the village itself um, this is the dock area and we have some boats here um, I would love to tell you about these boats this is of a design which was called a canar I guess I'm not sure about the pronunciation pronunciation I must say um, yeah these are like trading ships everyday ships um, not for war specifically not for war <laughs> um, yeah not sure what I can tell more about it this one lying upside down this is more of a slender um, design it would be called a sky and it would double um, it is possibly a warship though it would in an ideal situation we wouldn't um, use it for that purpose that much um, yeah okay um, I've, I've two more boat designs or one more boat design uh, but I will show that later because we don't have the boat in on this spot here um, now on to their economy um, the Vikings on Greenland they would kill walruses for their ivory walrus ivory commodity that you, could, you could trade it um, so these are basically dead walrus I'm not sure if you can recognize them um, we have another walrus design these these are dead and they are pretty flat and boring and 
they look just like heaps of blocks and wood and yeah but um, the actual living ones uh, living models look a bit better um, then we have this beluga whale um, they wouldn't kill big whales um, they would scare these little whales they would drive them on t into shallower water and then just kill them um, so this is a beluga whale uh, it's basically a narwhal which is probably more commonly known but it doesn't have the tusk doesn't have the horn because that would be about here and yeah so this is a beluga whale it's basically the same it's white it's pretty small it's kind of like a dolphin um, except a bit bulkier stump nose so yeah and it's white so it's a bit it blends a bit in with the snow but it's a beluga whale awesome so they would kill walruses they would eat their meat they would boil their blubber to oil and sell their tusks um, so you could make pretty good trade of them um, but they would try probably to be as self-sufficient as possible they would keep livestock do on farming um, here is a sheep pen um, they would also have cows but we don't have cows so this is a sheep pen this is more of a holding place and they can um, yeah venture into the wild and the grass and they would be this this is sort of a winter time so there's little grass to find anyway they would have cooked up some um uh, fetch and or um some dry grass and yeah ooh unloading chunks to um feed this sheep um then we have here we have the boiling hut this is probably for first building i should show um this is the boiling hut there, here's a walrus being cut up, and whatever, sh like the blubber, they would could boil in these um, in these tanks, cauldrons. Probably smell a bit. That's why it's a bit farther from town. Um, and yeah, this is where they would process them. Um, so let's move up to the town. Oh my God, frame rate. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. So, as I said before, we were trying to be um, trying to make a new Viking style. Um, so we started to look at the Vikings. Um, we started to read up on them, and um, we did quite an extensive research into them. A lot of brainstorming went into this because, well, it was already so overdone. Well, so many builds of Viking style. Um, so it was very hard for us to come up with anything new but this is kind of the end result that we went for um, this is somewhat like if you look at the curved roof it is somewhat like the longhouse design um, which is typical for vikings um, but we added a um, this this face or end or I'm not sure how to call it on the sides as well um, it's basically a smaller version of an end like this um, yeah it has some yes kind of curved foot it is supposedly it can be for support but it's it's more of a decorative thing um you can see it better here it goes from one edge curves all over to the other to the other edge and yeah we have some holes here ooh I'm not sure what that is um where smoke would cut out and in the center we have this well we have on the ends we have this this wood it's kind of typical viking this is uh well it's not really viking but um, this is minecraft viking <laughs> the ends of these houses have this overly decorative wood stuff um yeah we kind of wanted to keep those in um this is a deer head being mounted i'm not sure if vikings would do that but it's a nice decorative feature and yeah we these these vikings are as well farmers as hunters they would do probably both as we said they would kill walruses um, small whales um, polar bears deer and well we wanted to signify that so we dropped in a few animal um, things things like this um, so on the floor here we have a polar bear rug skin now for those who browse reddit often this was 
A similar design was posted on Reddit um, with very, I'm not sure who did it, um, we really liked the idea so we went with it. Um, we, we kind of made some changes to it, I would say improvements, but of course everyone is can judge that for themselves, um, you can look it up. Um, so yeah, polar bear rug, we have some more mounted deer heads on the walls, um, this is just basic tables and um yeah nothing really special um yeah look at let's look at some interiors for these buildings um they are very simple you have some support beams somewhat decorative you have the smoke hole um they would have a fire here for some heat um some shelving a cauldron chest bed yeah standard stuff Nothing really fancy or um because well it wasn't a really fancy civilization I guess. Um br 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 what can I show more of the town? Um well we have about nine houses from the top of my head, I'm not sure. Um we have somewhat with about three um three sizes, the big one somewhat small one and the small one um more sheep um things um uh, yeah we have a bridge over there I'll show that in a bit um then we have like these kind of classical ship uh shaped uh burial mounts um but these weren't eye catchy enough um it would you would walk past them and you wouldn't even notice them. So we put these kind of cross angely things right in the center. Um, during the Viking era um, the Vikings actually converted from paganism from Thor and such to Christianity. Um, so it is somewhat it, it fits within. Um, yeah this, this, this is obviously not really a cross shape thing. Well it's a shape but ah oh well it's not really Christian, um, yeah, just we just went with it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we we have this big colorful balloon. This is not Viking. Um, I'm not going to explain why there is this balloon hovering above the town, but it has its function, and you will learn what it is later on sometime if you keep following us. So yeah. <laughs> You can you can make your own stories around it if you want. Uh, that'd be awesome. Um, like the reason why I explain explain the reason why I explain all these things is hopefully this this town will come more to life for you if I explain all these things um, because we we enjoy really like we are brainstorming all the time about how this story evolves and how life would happen here and it'd be nice if you have the same investment in this build as us and yeah we hope we hope you like it um so yeah let's let's show this bridge ooh more sheep yeah um we have this bridge which is according to google a viking design um the other side is better to show ooh frame rate okay this is the other side of the bridge um we have it's it's made of crude logs and we have support logs and beams and all sorts of stuff. Um yeah, if you Google for Viking Bridge it's the very first result. It's it's yeah, I don't know. I think it's looking good. That's that's the most important part, isn't it? Um it's over this small frozen over stream. Um but when the snow melts and since there's a lot of snow, this would be a quite fast flowing little flow thing so a bridge is appropriate um so that's about it for this this town area um oh i think i forgot to mention about architecture is that um the other architectural style that is truly viking original is called kievan rus i hope i pronounced that right um but yeah, these these are more um, focused on the Baltic states. Um, they originated in Kiev, I guess, or they, like the capital was Kiev. Basically, um, 
in the Viking society, you would have all these separate clans, and um, in the Viking era, all the Viking era, all these clans um, kind of acted together as well as they were independent clans and have their villages and stuff. Um, they would have something called the the Leidang, um, where every village was or every settlement clan had to send a certain amount of ships based on their size and stuff um, to participate in a um, in a fleet, a Viking fleet to protect their homeland, to go on raids and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this this as we said, um, this is focused on Greenland. Um, they might they might deliver some Viking ships, but this isn't a really uh, war rivalry kind of deal like in Europe, where they would go to Normandy and kill some Frenchies and then go live in their houses. Um, nothing like that. Um, but yeah, Normandy. By the way, Normandy comes from Normans, and yeah, interesting. Um, <laughs> Kiev and Rus, oh yeah, Kiev. Belted states, and then you had Greenland. They were first. They also set up some civilizations in the New World, um, America, Northern America. But they got beef with some Indians, and they got killed, and yeah, stuff. Anyway, um, on to the next area. We have a walrus colony, and I'm going to cut the video right here, um, and I will go there and start the video again. Be right back. Okay, here we are at our walrus colony. Um, hopefully, you will recognize this as being a walrus. It has these tusks which are made out of fences. Um, yeah, they are just brown, woody things, and they swim in the water and cool stuff. And boats, boats. Basically, what we thought of was um, basically they would, the Vikings would travel in these boats and try to scare these walrus more up to the beach, more towards, towards the tree line. And at that point Vikings could run out of the tree line and start butchering some walruses and feast on their meat and whatever, tusks and cool stuff. So yeah, this is this is a or walrus colony. It's looking I think it looked quite interesting. Hopefully you agree with me. Um, yeah, gravel beaches. Since this is Greenland, Greenland has gravel beaches. Um, stuff. Okay. Other than that, um, I think I've shown most of the structural. Um, this this island is not done yet. Uh, we hope you will like it, nevertheless, and maybe build something on it yourself. Um, because we didn't make all this terrain just for nothing. Um, so yeah, we, we hope you like this build. Um, if you want to participate in building on Lens of Acera with this small creative dedicative uh, ded with this small creative dedicate group of um, builders, creative talents, genius, whatever. Um, if you want to build with us, you have to apply. Uh, we're not looking for one trick ponies, so um, it is highly <laughs> advisable that you um, have some skills. Um, you need to be capable, creative, confident. Um, you want, you need to have some passion about what you're doing, because we are building a alternate reality. We're building this RPG world with crazy storyline and awesome shit and yeah, cool stuff. So we are making this world. Um, you can participate in it if you want, if you are capable. Um, apply for it. We will leave some stuff, links in the somewhere on the video or PMC um, with directions how you apply. Um, it is like, would be awesome if you make a screenshot folder with some screenshots of the stuff you've made and um, might also be nice if you just make a quick world where you stick in some builds you've made that we can if we like the images that you've linked then we can just pop it in Minecraft and walk through them because actually seeing stuff in 3D helps a lot. Um, 
and we're not looking for big builds. Uh, um, we are building highly detailed, Steve-sized, realistic stuff, and um, yeah, we are not looking for mega builds. Um, if you build, re if you have some small builds that you want to show, uh, we are looking at details. We look at, we look for the small things that make a build feel real, realistic. Um, if you can show those, um, show some creativity, um, then you have a very good chance of um, being able to build with us. Um, so yeah, um, that's about it for this this build. Uh, hopefully you like it, like, comment, subscribe, um, all that all that stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you next video, next build, and. Have an awesome day. Um, see ya.